Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, preparation is done, ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Nick's New Year Painting Challenge uh, starting day. Um, if you haven't heard about the challenge, then uh, it basically just get something to paint, whether it be um, a single mini, a unit, a whole army, anything you like, um, and get it painted. Uh, it's basically designed to motivate us to uh, get something uh, painted in the new year, and uh, just to kickstart the year off. Uh, now, obviously, if you don't have a YouTube channel, there is a Google Plus uh, group, so you can go and join that. The link is in the description below. I'm just using my Get It Painted Challenge uh, group for that. And you can just upload your videos, upload your still pictures um, on there for everyone to uh, view and obviously uh, hopefully motivate each other. We've got a good number of people doing the challenge, so if you want to join in, then please do so. So uh, yes, I've got these warp spiders. These are my old uh, models. Of course, I've had these for quite some time. Um, I've been in now. I've went over and just refiled them down, just making sure all the mold lines were removed. Uh, and then I've been sorting out the bases. Now, yes, I do have the option, obviously, to put them on bigger bases. But um, a, I don't have bigger bases. And b, um, they're you know on these bases already. So I'm just going to stick with these smaller bases. Um, so yeah, I started off by going into the um, bottom of the bases there and just green stuffing in the the gaps where the, the metal is um, just so when I start basing it with the the sand and stuff uh, there's no like, holes and dips and things uh, so I started off with that and then um, underneath I started off putting some bits and pieces underneath basically some little stones and some green stuff um, because some of these models are a little bit uh, top heavy so uh, to help them um, stand up I just went over and just put some bits and pieces in the bottom like I said mainly a little stone and some green stuff there just to hold them down um, I've also split the unit into two units of six if I want to and I've done that by adding some little stones to the, the bases on this side here they've all got stones on the base and uh, of course on the other side they don't so I can have this as one big unit or two smaller units so I'm really really looking forward to painting these um, after filing them down a bit um, <laughs> again um, they do look really cool models actually and it's the great thing about Alder as I've always said is with the aspect warriors is being able to paint uh, different colors to what you would normally do so my Aldar scheme of course is purple and white I'm going to paint these guys in the traditional colors I am going to add like the Idic Aldar twist to them so there will be some purple and stuff on there as well uh, not 100% sure how I'm going to do that yet um, we'll see as we as we paint I suppose um, but yeah, yeah, the first job of course is going to be to prime them. So I'm going to be priming these white. Now I know, um, obviously as they are basically a red colour, um, priming white ne isn't necessarily the best primer. probably should do it black, but I always prime my white, uh, my Aldar white, because I, I like my white areas on the models to be absolutely pristine and I find the best way to do that is to have a white primer so um, we'll see um, what happens there I think the red will still be fine you know especially after I've uh, washed it and stuff I may even have to base coat the red areas uh, with black first just with a hand brush I'm not sure I'm going to have to see how it goes but um, I'm sure it will be fine I'm sure it will work out in the end so um, that is it, so that's the update. I'm gonna get these primed today, ready for painting tomorrow. Um, I'll have another opening vid to start the challenge off. Look forward to seeing all of your opening vids and um, have a good time painting them, everyone. That's it from me, thanks for watching.